the right rhyme, my people still hurt. I asked grandma a few times, and tell me why you still working. She says, son, everything is hurt. As you envision it, walk strong okay. in your faith and only trust your instinct. BMX forever. Yeah. Cool P forever. X back forever. Come on. BMX forever. Cool P forever. X back forever. Ever. Ball was born, and also the year that we lost uh, the notorious B.I.G. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. Shouts out to my man, Cool P, a.k.a. BMX, for that track during the break. Monk scoring his finest. I hold no grudge. I still say one love. Yeah. Uh, 404 382 You can also email me at Doug at thedougstewartshow.com. Before I forget, man, shouts out to the U.S. of A. The United States routed Puerto Rico 8 to nothing on Wednesday night in its win in its first World Baseball Classic title in four tries behind six hits, uh, hitless innings from Marcus Stroman. That's right. Right. Um, and it's interesting. It's interesting. Baseball is known as America's pastime. Uh, and we also have this World Series, which many people have talked about before. We call it the World Series, but we're just playing against American teams. Where they do that at? <laughs> right. Right. So this is actually a world baseball tournament. Um, the U.S. has struggled since the WBC began in 2006. Uh, the Americans twice lost in the second round, and they went out in the semifinals in 2009. Uh, they defeated the two-time champion Japan in the semifinals, while Puerto Rico beat the Netherlands to reach the championship game. Uh, the three WC games at Dodger Stadium drew 109,000-plus fans. So the USA gets it done, and we don't play all of our best players. We play a lot of players. I saw McCutcheon out there um, the time that I switched to the game uh, from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, so they have some of the better players, not all of the all-star players, man. But I, I always, you know, as far as us against the world, I always root for the U.S. Even in, in boxing where a lot of people, they root against foreign country fighters over American fighters. I'm always kind of patriotic with my sports. You know, I'm not Captain America anything like that for, for any other thing for the most part. Social injustice or whatever is in this country. But baseball and sports in general – uh, I want USA to win every time. Shouts out to the Americans. It's us against y'all. It's us against y'all. And we're supposed to be, or the major leagues are supposed to be the best league in the world, or that's at least what we're led to believe. 
But they played great baseball in Japan and some of these other international countries, man. So, shouts out to America getting it done last night. Uh, Russell Westbrook, man, went off against the Philadelphia 76ers, becoming the first player to record a triple-double while going perfect from the floor and from the free throw line. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Russell Westbrook, in a very efficient night with the Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, beat the 76ers 122-97. Westbrook shot six of six from the field. Now, that's very strange. He only took six shots. Um, So it was a very, you know, low shooting night for him as far as, as shots taken. But he shot six for six from the field and six of six from the free throw line, finishing with 18 points, 11 boards, 14 assists in just 28 minutes. It's the first game Westbrook ever has been perfect from the field, and it's the first time in 83 games that he didn't attempt a three-pointer. He can shoot three-pointers, but I think that's a good thing. (laughs) Right. So, So last night, let me stop right there. So last night, his stat line kind of looked like an old-school point guard stat line. Like, there aren't a lot of point guards, like scoring point guards that I can think of um, that were that great at that level. Like, Isaiah Thomas was a great scoring point guard. Um, because point guards, you know, you're sports fans. Point guards are usually uh, tasked to set up the other players, to run the offense, to do all of that, to be kind of like the coach on the floor. And so... I'm trying to think. Even Magic Johnson wasn't that great of a scorer. Um, yeah, like I think AI was technically categorized as a point guard, but he really wasn't. He was a shooting guard. Um, so Allen Iverson, um, Steph Curry is listed as point guard, I believe. Steph Curry, uh, Isaiah Thomas, um, Westbrook. You know, those are cats that you go to for buckets. They're kind of like hybrid point guards and two guards as well. But Westbrook, man, he uh, he's the guy that takes most of the shots. He does most of the scoring. You know that. But last night, more in the role of a uh, traditional point guard, setting up everybody else, and it was a good win for the, uh, the 76ers. It's the first game uh, Westbrook has ever been perfect from the field once again. The six-shot attempts also tied a career low in games in which he played more than 20 minutes. He recorded his 35th triple-double of the season. You heard me. Um, 35 triple-doubles this year, man. With 11 games to go, he is six away from tying Oscar Robertson's for uh, Oscar Robertson for the most triple-doubles in a season. Westbrook is averaging 31.2 points a game, 10.5 rebounds a game, and 10.4 assists. What? Hey, man, let me say this. Uh, let, me, uh, let me say this, man. And, and this is how – this is the part of sports that I hate. And he might win it. He might win it. But once again, as I said earlier, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I mean, it seems like the fix is on. It seems like that there's kind of like this this groundswell of, you know, give James Harden the award. And listen, I'm not saying James Harden doesn't really deserve the award. I get, I, You know what? And actually, most years, you know, where you got stats comparable like this, I would be the guy to say, man, go ahead and make it co-MVPs. You know, I just said that this past year. Um, for Dak Prescott and for Ezekiel Elliott. And it didn't happen. But, I mean, sometimes I believe in co-MVPs. In, in the normal year, I would say, yeah, James Harden is balling out of control, playing point guard. Damn near, he's close to averaging a triple-double, but he's not. And he's been balling out of control under Mike D'Antoni and this free-flowing system that they're running down there in Houston. He is truly unstoppable. Like, James Harden is unstoppable. Like, like he's probably got one of the quickest, you know, first step getting to the basket. He can get to the basket better than just about anybody else in NBA history. He is that dude, all right? And he has single-handedly put that team on his back, and they're in contention now to play in the Western Conference Finals at minimum. 
Um, but not this year, man. Not this year. You know how many people have gotten a triple-double, average a triple-double in the NBA, in the history of the NBA? Only one. And that's Oscar Robinson in the 61-62 season. So not only is, is Oscar Robinson the only person to do it, it hadn't been done since the early 60s. This is 2017. In normal circumstances, I would say split the award. I would. But no, you can't not acknowledge a guy that's averaging a triple-double, the second person to do it, if he finishes the year averaging a triple-double, the second person to do it in NBA history. The last time it was done in 1961-1962 season. In, In normal circumstances, I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to Harden. I wouldn't be mad if they split it. But you're talking about something that hadn't been done. Let me quickly do some quick math here. 71, 81, 91, 2001, 2011, 57, 58 years. And I know a lot of people don't like Russell Westbrook. He's got kind of like this ornery disposition. And he used to take a lot of shots from Kevin Durant or whatever, man. He that dude you love to hate. All right? I was about to curse. He that N-word you love to hate. But, man, freak all of that. And this is the same thing that I say about the conversation about guys off the field or off the court and their perspective sports. Uh, you got to look at what they did on the court. You got to look at what T.O. and Randy Moss did on the football field. Forget everybody and, and your opinion about them as a person. What did they do on the field? What did Russell Westbrook do this year? He did something this year that hadn't been done for over 50 years. Get that man the trophy. He a bad boy. He a bad boy, man. I love his killer instinct attitude, man. I absolutely love that. I mean, Russell Westbrook, man, this cat would play. He's one of those cats. We talked about this a couple of days ago for the last couple of days. He's one of them cats, man, that would truly, if they didn't pay him, he would play for free. Like, 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 he would pay for free. The fact that he gets millions of dollars a year is just a, a, a fringe benefit. That man would play for free, man. I mean, that man plays the game hard like his life depended on it. Like, it's his very last game. Every game for this guy is his very last game. All right? And so in a time where, let's keep it real, LeBron James probably the best player in basketball. All right? But they don't do it like that. In the NBA, you're, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. In the NBA, they don't do it like that. They don't give it to the best player that most people will acknowledge every year. If that were the case, Charles Barkley and David Robinson wouldn't have won the championship during the era of Michael Jordan. All right, so it's kind of like been a precedent set. Yes, I acknowledge all of you LeBron fans, LeBron James is probably the best player in basketball. They don't do it like that, okay? Get that man the trophy. What are your thoughts? 404-382-0338. Any other year, it'd be fine, man, but this is special. This is special. Only two guys have ever done it, if he does it. Only two guys will have ever done it, and you're not going to get this guy the MVP. Oh, yeah, and his team is in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have anybody around him. Remember that. It's not like he's putting up all these numbers and they suck and they're not going to the playoffs. They are going to the playoffs. He doesn't have anybody surrounding him of note. Everybody that was around him is gone. Serge Ibaka gone. James Harden gone. Kevin Durant gone. Go ahead and get that man the damn trophy. Let me read some messages in the chat room. Hey, what are your thoughts, man? If you want to call the show, call the show, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Show I'd love to hear your opinion on this, man, from a man fell pay in the chat room on Spreaker.com. If voters were able to set aside their personal biases toward ex-players, cats like Pete Rose would already be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, to a degree, I agree with you, but the Pete Rose thing is a little bit different. Um, you're talking about the sanctity of the game and how much you trust the game. Uh, when you're talking about Pete Rolls and the whole gambling uh, scandal and all of that stuff. Um, let's see, from Sin, first-time BPA nominee, he says, Alexa, where did Oscar Robertson finish in the MVP race? Let's see. Alexa, 
Where did Oscar Robertson finish in the MVP race in 1961-62? 